that's now available as a skeletal alpha version for 3D Studio Max as of November 9th, 2012. So I follow the installation instructions. I've got a couple of icons, one each for EPMV and auto cell. Um, that will be changed to cell pack soon or auto pack. And I've opened the viewer tab. I'm going to change first to the filler tab and we'll just stick with the default test spheres 2D. Click start. And that's going to build this large GUI and everything, all the geometry that we need into our scene. So let's zoom out and see what we have here. See a sphere, that's a base geometry that we'll be using, and a plane, which is what we're going to be doing for this simple two-dimensional fill. And by default, we have real-time turned off. Um, let's leave that off and I'm just gonna make a couple of adjustments here update total malls let's turn this guy down to 50 update I'll go back to the fill options tab and just click fill and in a couple seconds you'll see that the collection of spheres that are defined on this other page here have filled the scene according to the densities and they've done so randomly. So I can clear this fill, I can fill again, and if you recognize that pattern you'll see that because this random seed is exactly the same, the fill is exactly the same. I'll clear again, I'll change that seed this time to 13 and fill. And you should see a very different pattern emerge. Um, this is completely stochastic, completely random in this case. For this particular recipe. So let's clear that and check out what's going on. I'm going to turn on this real-time tab and go ahead and click fill again. And you'll see that objects are being deposited. Uh, an invisible grid that you can't see right now is being updated. You have an option to display that grid by checking one of these buttons at the top later. Um, is being updated and, and uh, masking off points that are unavailable as objects are being deposited and distances are being updated into that grid as well. So that's pretty fun. Let's clear that and let's clear the entire recipe. Um, I'm just going to show you. I'll click this bottom lower right corner. Let's load a new recipe. So I'll close this box and go from test 2D spheres to test cylinders 2D. We'll start that, which will build, again, all the geometry we need into our scene, as well as the GUI that handles the, the system. And for this alpha version, we've got a little bug here. So I need to turn down some of these values. And update. It works fine without that, but it takes a little bit longer because it's trying to pack too many objects into the scene more than is possible, so it has to try several times before it finally gives up. So let's click Fill and see what happens. And what we end up with here is a number of cylinders surrounded by uh, two different species of spheres. And I'll just clear that and go back to Fill Options and. <clears throat> we'll view this in real time. And here again, you see objects try to pick a, they pick a position based on the values available in the grid. They do a number of jitter, that's rotations and translations about that position. They test for collision with other objects at the time. If they're colliding, they, they jitter again and they keep doing that until they're rejected. If they're not rejected, then they place themselves and update the grid. And then that grid is used to quickly and efficiently, algebraically in fact, select another point. So let's clear that and I'll do a different video to show you some of the actual cell pack packing objects as well as the, the viewer options so you can see some of the pre-made models that you can 
click and instantly build large scenes of an entire HIV virus, for example, that is downloaded from our database online. More in a bit.